Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you the powerful tools in Shaper 3D um, for tapering uh, your geometry. Um, so just to get started, what I'm going to do is draw a cube, show you how to taper it. And from there, I've had a few comments on how to taper text. So I'll go through I th what I think is the best way to do that. So just to get started, I'm going to go to Sketch. In fact, let's come out of Sketch and go to the top plane. To the middle and then I'm going to just do a sketch of a rectangle oh in fact let's do a square not a rectangle sorry so I've done it 50 mil by 50 mil I'll exit that sketch and then I'll just go into the isometric view using the view cube zoom in a little bit so nice and simple so far and if I go to tools and then I'm going to go to extrude so if I extrude this cube 50 mil high so I've got a 50 by uh, 50 cube but I'm not going to click done. Um, what you can now actually do in Shape of 3D is you've got this little uh, angle symbol here. And if you drag it, you can put um, tapers on your extrudes. So you can go both ways, like shape, most of Shape of 3D's um, tools. You can actually taper it out and in. So that's how you tape your extrudes and you can be precise and put 1.3 degrees in um if you depending on what kind of precision you're working to but if i cancel that go back to my sketch go back to my sketch click sketch and i'm going to zoom out a little bit and i'm going to show you the best way i think to taper your text so now if i just pull this out and make it 100 mil by 50 mil and then exit sketch what I'm going to do is go back to the isometric view and go to extrude I'm going to extrude this 20 mil high so now I've got a rectangle that's 20 mil high and I'm going to I'm going to engrave this with uh, text um, with a uh, but tape of the text. So if you if you want text for a mold or three um, D printing or, or other applications, I think this is the best way to do it. So now I'm going to go to Add, not Tools, Add Text. So just go back to the top plane and click click the top of the cube surface, and then Add Text. So if you missed that, because I know I did it a little quick, I'll go back to. I click the top of the cube surface, click top, so you've got the view, and then you get um, this toolbar come up, you get some more, and at the bottom you should have add text. So if I tick that and I write interactive CAD, which is the channel, and tech, make it a little smaller. Just make that block capitals. Just make sure it's actually on the top surface, which it is. Click done. So now what I'm going to do is just go to my tree. And I'm going to hide the first body, which is the cube. So if I hide that body. And now zoom in. And I'll hide that sketch actually as well. So it's a bit clearer. So now I've just got the text up and I'm looking in an isometric view. I'm going to click add. Or tools even, not add, sorry. I always get them mixed up in this software. I'm going to press extrude. I'm going to extrude down ten, uh, 5 mil. So minus 5. No. I have to drag it down minus 5 and tick it. But now you can, before you tick it, Put the desired taper on that you want. So if I don't, because obviously it's small, we don't want to do something stupid. So if I put a two, two mil taper on, so two degrees. In fact, we'll make it one point five degree taper on your text. So now I'm going to copy the same principle all the way across, but I'm just going to speed speed up the video because you don't want to watch me. You know the process. You click, you click the profile, extrude it down, or and then uh, put the required. Uh, taper on that you require. So I'm just going to speed through this now. So 
So now I've put the text on, I've extruded it all, I've put and I've got a 1.5 degree taper all the way down. Just to illustrate it, I'll bring it around so as you can see, you can see the tapers just slight, slightly. You, I'd probably have gone for two degrees for a little more, but so now I've got my text with the taper on. I'm going to bring back up my cube body, so I'm going to go back to the top. So now I have tapered text, and like I say, you can play around with it and get depending on what you're spelling and your text font, you can uh, change your tapers as required. And now I'm going to go back to body three. No, not body three, sorry, body one at the bottom, which is my cube. And I'm going to go to tools, and I'm going to go to subtract, which is that. So now if i highlight uh, the body to remove from and then i'm going to select all my other bodies and then if i tick done now i have tapered text in the part i hope you found this little tutorial helpful um if you have please do subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching